Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are testing which hammers in Terraria are the best. We're testing both vanilla hammers and we're testing a bunch of modded hammers. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to start off with the vanilla hammers and what we're going to be testing is how fast they break walls and I guess how fast they can, you know, turn a block into a slope and whatnot, you know, all of this. Cuz I'm actually not sure if they have a uh, different speeds or not for, you know, changing the block. I think they do. But like I said, that's that's what we're going to put to the test. Let's head over here to to our wall breaking laboratory which is literally just wooden walls and we're just gonna put it to the test how fast we could break these walls all right starting with the wooden hammer let's see how fast it goes obviously did not expect it to start zooming through walls it's a wooden hammer it's one of the first hammers you can get your hands on but it is pretty useful if you know you need to break an orb at the beginning of the game you know you're doing some early stuff with hammering boom there's your first hammer but moving on to the flesh grinder this one I expect to be a lot faster. Yep, way faster right there. And uh, obviously this one you get from Crimpton. And also, obviously, we're not testing every hammer. We're testing a certain amount of powers, you know, with a decent gap in between besides these two. These two are just 80% and 85. But like the Pwn Hammer and the Hamlish, how can I not show both of them? They're dope. Speak about dope, the Rockfish. Now, this is a really cool hammer. In terms of looks, it's really cool. And in terms of power, it's not actually too bad. Like, look how fast that is. This is something you can get pretty early on. Moving on now to the Pwn Hammer. Now this one obviously is iconic. You get this one guaranteed after killing the wall of flesh and you got to use this hammer to break demon altars. So it's pretty much required in a way, but let's go ahead and let's break the walls and see how fast this goes. Yep, nice and fast as expected. Moving on to the hammer, which is probably one of the coolest hammers. And this one you can also use as a melee weapon. I mean, I guess all of them you can use as a melee weapon. But this one has a nice little cool attack here that makes it really fun to use as a melee weapon. Because all the mushroom weapons are really cool. I kind of wish there was more because there's only, what, like two, three mushroom weapons? But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see how fast it is. 85% hammer power, which obviously is pretty good in strength. But does it have very fast speed? It has average speed. Most of these have average speed besides the rockfish. So it does seem like the rockfish is one of the fastest so far. But moving on to the chlorophyte warhammer. Now, this is another pretty much melee weapon where you're assumed to be using it as a melee weapon. But obviously, you can use it as a hammer because it is slow. It has slow speed, but it's really strong. It's making the slow speed not really like count. For anything so there's a glorified warhammer, warhammer not too bad at all and moving on to the nebula ham axe i try my best to not use any ham axes or axes in general but you know this is probably the highest tier hammer you can get your hands on in vanilla terraria this one and obviously the solar stardust and vertex one, vortex one so let's put it to the test oh that has some speed baby so yeah, let's go ahead. Let's test out the vanilla hammers and how fast they can slope a block or whatever this is called. Terraform a block. Really slow wooden hammer one, which is expected, honestly. Flesh grinder, a little bit faster, obviously. Now the rockfish, I expect this one to probably be one of the fastest besides the ham axe. It's not bad, not bad. Pwn hammer, actually pwn hammer is pretty fast too. I don't know what would affect this more, speed or power. Probably speed. I don't know, because look, the chlorophyte one is going pretty fast too. But the ham axe one yes sir going as fast as i can and i can't just hold left click i have to spam click because you see there if i hold left click or if i hit the wrong area i break the wall in the background so i need to i need to keep on clicking it fast but yeah the ham axe is really fast nice all right so this next hammer i'm showing off here is more of an honorable mention because it doesn't actually hammer things but it does something really cool it's called the shell hammer let's go ahead let's spawn some uh mobs here and let's see exactly what it does there it does there what there it goes it shoots out a little turtle shell and the turtle shell is awesome. Look at this thing. It's like Mario, bro. I love it. It's a low key kind of rare though. Like I'm having trouble spawning it in. But you know, it has a chance to spawn in. This thing used to be really strong. I remember when uh, the spirit mod, you know, was in its early days. This was in the, this was obviously in the mod. And it was really good because it spawned them like nonstop. I think you could spawn them without hitting something too. But uh, I remember I used to use this hammer all the time in one of my melee characters. Oh, look, it does spawn them without having to hit something. That's awesome though. Look at this. I, I love it. All right, moving on to our first set of real modded hammers here and not the uh, shell hammer. We're going to be combining thorium and spirit together here because they have a small amount of hammers and nothing too crazy. A lot of tools from mods, they're either they're just just plain and simple. There's like the occasional crazy one, for example, like the crystal crusher is really cool. And the drills from like elements awoken and the drills from shadows of Abaddon, you know, they'd be cool. But sometimes a lot of the tools are just straight up boring. They got cool designs like the talon breaker. But other than that, they're just straight up. They're just tools. They do what they do. But yeah, let's go ahead. We're putting the bronze mallet to the test from thorium and let's see how well it does 
not bad at all i think most of these are gonna start picking up in speed because uh you know some of these are hard mode and some of them are modded meaning they'll probably be good but yeah next up is the geode mallet this is a hard mode one kind of slow not as fast as the mallet which is a pre hard mode hammer this is pretty surprising moving on to the titan hammer i believe this is one of the best hammers you can get besides ham axes in thorium i don't know if there's a ham axe actually but i think this is one of the best hammers you can get it still feels kind of slow if i'm being 100 percent honest but yeah that was all the thorium ones that i chose there's a good bit of thorium ones but most of them are the same or barely have a big gap in between moving on to the pestilent pummeler pum pummeler this one got a cool name so it better be fast actually really fast you can you can hear the sound effects going really fast and uh let's go ahead let's test out the talon breaker oh yeah this one this one sucks and the last two i chose from the spirit mod the cobalt warhammer and the titanium warhammer these are warhammers so i don't expect them to do too much as you can see very very slow this one same thing they're very strong but very slow so it seems like the pestilent pestilent pummeler one of the fastest from the the four i chose from the spear mod all right so yeah let's go ahead let's test out the hammering speed here and see j what the fuck so yeah let's go ahead let's test out the hammering speed here and see how fast these all go i'm assuming oh this one goes it's goes pretty fast can i just hold it down i'll break the wall if i just hold it down apparently oh yeah i'll break the wall if i hold it down it breaks the wall guaranteed but this does not seem too bad i, I honestly don't know how to really test this but let's go ahead let's do the geode one seems the same speed i'm assuming most of these are gonna be the same speed does it like matter at all on how i click uh, oh no it's not the same speed look at this that one is fast as hell Jeez, what the heck oh yeah okay so it does matter the reason why i'm saying this what the heck this one is really slow same thing with the titanium one i'm guessing yeah the reason why i'm saying i'm wondering if it matters or not is because i completely forgot to test it with the vanilla ones and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna do that and the clips are gonna be in reverse order but i guess you'll never know until now all right we're moving deeper into the modded hammer selection the next mod we're gonna be checking out here is the juice mod we're not gonna be checking out every single hammer from this mod because most of these have the same power but we're gonna check out a decent amount of them starting with this one jungle hammer 60 percent then we got the aqua hammer 65 knight's wrath 80 and then the Bloodbreaker and the knight's wrath are pretty much the same thing same thing for this two these two again and then we got the true paladin's hammer which is also 100 percent like these ones so we're gonna put that there so these are the five we're gonna be testing pretty much so let's go ahead let's put them to the test now the juice mod has really cool hammers if you can't tell already because they all kind of upgrade into like a super hammer aka being the terra firma which is a really cool hammer these are also really good melee weapons too uh and this one's pretty fast look at this that's nice but yeah the the last like couple are melee weapons well i mean i guess like i said you can use all these as melee weapons this one's really fast but like these last three right here the true ones and the terra firma you're, you're gonna see why these are really good melee weapons you ready okay i guess you're not gonna see when i'm hitting the wall but right there you saw that did you see that look at that beautiful they all all three of these do the same thing just different colors but the terra firma the terra firma is cool this one feels like it it breaks a lot faster you see that oh look yeah this one has fast speed compared to these ones which have slow speed but yeah let's go ahead let's spawn in a slime and just test this out real quick oh look at that it kind of like sends them flying if it catches them at, at the right angle but yeah now the terra firma this thing is gonna destroy and it's gonna leave destruction that's like the same thing isn't it God, look at this oh my god look at this oh and you seen the attack look at that that's so cool i love it boom 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 this is some good clearing if you're doing an event man like this can crowd control easily all right let's go ahead let's put them to the test here against the singular block this one really slow this one i expect to be a lot faster same thing with this one a lot faster this really hurts my hand spam clicking this much it's pretty much the same thing no it's not the same thing what the hell am i talking about one of these yeah this one has average speed compared to this one which has slow speed so there is a, a little minor difference between you know the crimson one and the uh corruption one this one seems pretty fast if it isn't trying to hit the floor same thing with this one seems pretty fast and obviously the terra firma is going to be the fastest moving on to the next mod which is the shadows of abaddon mod now this one has some big boys honestly i could have saved this one for last but yeah this one has got the big boys these are all high leveled ones or late game ones is what i should say starting with the quasar kasar quasar is that how you say it quasar hammocks fast right off the bat i expected it because this these are some late game boys like i said and it's got a lot of range plus four range is really good next up flarium which is 120 percent yeah 
So this one I expect to be very fast too. Nice and beautiful. Moving on to the next one, the band hammer. This one has 10 range. Oh my god. This 100% is probably the fastest one we've gotten our hands on so far. But moving on to the last one, the S. Thrall tight hammer. Is that how you say it? Ass thrall tight hammer. It's pretty fast too. Yeah, these last two are extremely fast. And uh, you know, all these hammers from Shadows of Abaddon seem very good. I think I missed like one or two, but obviously I chose the best ones and the ones that had the bigger difference between each other. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's test out the block over here now. Uh I think I mined too fast. No, okay, we're good. Because the other one I was breaking the wall, but maybe Oh, look, I broke the wall again. It's all good. Now, if we break all the walls behind it, you know, it, it's easier. Now, this one, you can't even really hold left click on these, can you? You have to keep clicking. I don't think I clicked fast enough, but yeah, these are all really fast as expected. Believe it or not, Calamity is not last for once because Calamity's axes are not too exciting. Uh, like I said, I try to stay away from ham axes, but we got a Reef Claw one, and obviously, the Grax is here yet again. You were just in a video. Grax is dude being selfish. He's trying to be in two videos. But yeah, we're going to put it to the test. Calamity, like I said, not too exciting in terms terms of hammers but uh you know we're still gonna put them to the test anyway starting with the wolfram one extremely slow because i think you can get this one pretty much when you get wood stuff because wolfram is very easy to get your hands on in calamity moving on to the reef claw ham axe this thing is just upsetting so far this is just an upset upsetting showing from calamity moving on to the abyssal warhammer wow I mean, it is a Warhammer, but these have sucked ass. Jeez. All right, the Grax. Come on, Grax. You know, you're an axe. You're a melee weapon. You're also a hammer. You gotta you gotta show up or show out or get the hell out. Something like that. Yes, sir. That's what I expected from the Grax. I don't expect much from, uh, you know, sloping this block from these hammers, obviously, besides the Grax. As expected, honestly, because all of these are slow. It seems like these are, I don't know, they're all kind of ass. I think I'd rather use a vanilla one instead of the Calamity ones, besides the Grax. But that's besides the point. The Grax, the Grax is just top tier all over the place. All right, we are moving to our last set of hammers, and they're from a bunch of mods here, starting with the Furniture Food Fun mod. Boom, these two hammers, and then we got Element unleash and then we got chroma key wall and then we got builder plus wall breaker 3000 like that sounds like that's the best one so that's why i saved it for last so let's go ahead and put it to the test here or let's go ahead and put them to the test here starting with the floral wood hammer this thing i don't expect to get much done honestly it's, it feels faster than all the calamity ones already so i take it back good job floral wood hammer moving on to the war hammer of zilly who again another war hammer feels really fast just swinging it without breaking walls it feels really fast Ooh, this is one of our fastest war hammers yet this one feels really fast good job furniture food fun they, they surprised me they really surprised me all right moving on to the next one let's actually do this one right here the extended hammer from chroma key wall now the chroma key wall mod adds in green screen blue screen all of that because i know a lot of people are like what are those green walls is, is it green screen that i use to take snapshot screenshots of stuff uh if i ever need them for a thumbnail or something but yeah we're using the extend hammer Just extend not extended hammer extend hammer using plus 50 range 50 percent hammer power Wow, it's actually really good. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that good. I really didn't. And you got a lot of range, so you can pretty much just reach anywhere. But nice. That, that was a good one. Moving on to the Purium Hammer. Now, the Purium stuff has never let me down, so I don't expect this one to let me down at all. Yep, perfect speed. This is the speed you need, honestly. Breaking walls, that just seems like the perfect speed. You don't need anything too high. You don't need anything too low. Just perfectly in the middle like this is really good. Now, moving on to last but not least, the Wall Breaker 3000. Let's just, let's just read this together, all right? 200% hammer power, 20 range, left click super fast Wall Breaker. That's, that's a very interesting sentence. Right click hammer that can't destroy walls which is an odd feature to right click with a hammer that can't destroy walls especially if it does only two damage but let's do it let's just see how destructive this wall breaker 3000 is not bad at all this probably is the fastest honestly i I, I don't really remember it's either this one or the band hammer but this one does seem like the fastest and moving on to our last trial here obviously sloping the block these are all decently fast so i expect them to not really have trouble at doing this at all i broke the wall behind it but yeah these are all really good especially obviously the wall breaker kind of dangerous to just be using like this but yep yeah, that was all the hammers i think our top contenders were definitely the wall breaker 
the Grax, the Banhammer, uh, Terra Firma, uh, obviously probably the last ones from all of them, Nebula Hammax, and the Pestilent Pummeler, which was a surprise from the Spear mod, be that fast. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't know, I'm heading to Disneyland very soon, so I'm trying to crank out a bunch of videos, or not crank out a bunch of videos, but pre-record some videos so I'll have something to post while I'm gone. But yeah, I will see y'all next time. Make sure to hit that sub button, because believe it or not, 80%, I look at it on my phone, I have this app on my phone that shows me all my YouTube statistics, and 80% of people that watch my videos regularly are not subscribed. So make sure to hit that sub button. I love you guys. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey, also make sure to check out my second YouTube channel, VOD Raiders 101. It's where I post my Terraria live streams and other live streams. So go check it out.